last um, uh, interviews, Dr. Cuso, one of our last sessions, is that anywhere you go, if you go to New York, you go to Philadelphia, you'll see a Chinatown. You, you'll see a place that's preserved for specific groups of people. And I love our people, but we need to get to that. We need to, you need to be able to go and see black excellence in communities everywhere you go. And, and listen, this is the home of the free. We understand all of that. But too many people uh, uh, come into our communities and grow fortunes while we mm. live in poverty. They, they yes. sell us pork chop sandwiches. They, they, they don't get me started. Alcohol, it, it's all in the communities, but it doesn't do anything but tear our communities down. Well, you know what, and I'm, I'm so glad you, you mentioned that. I was reading an article earlier in the year. Nashville, Tennessee. A black-owned businessman, Silas is, is, is his name, opened for the first time a black beauty supply store. I saw that. Yes. Black folk came out. And, and I'm mentioning it here because you were talking about what happened in 1921. Stores, banks, hospitals. Yes. You name it. We had it all. So you come here today, 2019, black man opens a beauty salon, a hair store, beauty supply store. The day of the grand opening... Oh, y'all, we have a call. Caller, come in. Thank you for calling. You are live with Let's Talk Business with SJC, here with Derek Blue and Lavorna Williams. Who do we have on the line? Lucinda Askew. Lucinda Askew. Perfect timing. <laughs> Woohoo! Lucinda Askew is a playwright in her own profession. Wow. So I heard you say at a local gathering held right here at 5508 that you were coming to experience all of this blackness girl going on in this community. Is yes, that true? true. <laughs> so you're going to be here. You will. So as a playwright, what would you share about what's about to happen right here at, at 5508 when we're talking about bringing the Black Wall Street play? Well, I just think that plays, in my opinion, it, it's more visual. And you can connect better with it. That's why I love writing them. That's why I like going to see them. So I'm very excited about coming um, to the Black Wall Street after reading up on it. Very excited to see the characters, see how they All right. produce what they're doing. So, yeah, I'm very excited about it. So, so I must ask, which show will you be attending? Because we are offering Friday. the play three different. Oh, you're coming on. Friday. Okay. That's yes. the black tie, uh, red carpet. Black tie, Mr. Blue. Yeah, yeah we're going to do I gotta it. I got to go gonna, regroup. We're going we gonna to do it big. <laughs> I need a new outfit. Did you hear him, Lucinda? Black tie. Yes, I, did. I was going to say cocktail, dinner, and show. No, we we doing. We, this is, <laughs> look, you getting a black print. We we wanna we wanna come out we wanna come out we wanna dress to impress we gonna have the step and repeat we wanna get you Lucinda <laughs> we wanna get Dr Williams we we wanna we just wanna make it a great a great opening night Saturday go ahead and dress down <laughs> a little bit but Friday let's oh, let's encore, go ahead and do the it. encore show yeah. is Friday at seven p.m. the twenty dollars show yeah. they can come casual yeah come come casual then but, <laughs> but the one twenty per couple is black yeah. tie absolutely okay. Absolutely. Just, All just of our black nice. business owners who happen to have a line of couture for males and females, we need to start reaching out to you right now. But Lucinda, thank you so much. But as a playwright, what is it that you want the audience to take away with? So our mindset is right. I believe of this caliber, this is the first type of play that the FAP group and as well its partners have brought here to, to East Tampa. So as a playwright yourself, get us in the right mindset. What? How do you set this up for us? What should we look forward to? Well, actually, as a playwright, when I'm writing my play, I'm looking at my audience, seeing what are they going to receive from it, how can they benefit oh, from it. Oh, okay. So I'm sure that the knowledge that they put out there is something that's going to help business owners, entrepreneurs, 
bit ahead of the game <gasps> of where they are now, possibly. Awesome. I'll be proud of the fact that they may have already gotten there. So I think it's, it's a wealth of knowledge. A wealth of knowledge. This might be yes. Well, thank you so much. We appreciate your taking the time out of your busy schedule. And, and I believe you're in the process of maybe writing on a new play now? I saw writing a play for a um, convention that's coming to town to keep their young people entertained for one day. So awesome. that's what we're writing right now. We're going to do that. Well, congratulations to you. Kudos. Thank you very much. Yeah, we're going to have to keep the young people <laughs> entertained at our 2 p.m. matinee mm -hmm. that's right. going to be just for them. And so right. we, we look forward to that. And, and, and I'm thinking about young people, and a lot of them aren't even aware what happened in 1921. Right. It, it was really oh, a right. massacre. They, they, they termed Correct. it in the beginning a riot, but it was a massacre. Right. So we've got to get those kids prepared prepared for that i'll let the gentleman thank, <laughs> thank you for for yeah. for dialing in to, to let's talk business with sjc my co-host here Derek blue it meant a lot for us to have you call in today yeah. did you all have to, like to say to anything it. yes thank you for calling in again and um you would definitely leave away with a wealth of knowledge and as for the black wall street a lot of people don't know um the story but the thing that is very disturbing is that what actually ignited it in the first place. You know, right. back, yeah, back in the late 1800s, um, there was a group of black soldiers and people that went to the West and went to Oklahoma, and that's how the community started. But we would like to give the details in the play, and there's a lot that is going to come out that is going to always be remembered. So thank you for calling in. Absolutely. No and problem. I can't wait to see it. Absolutely. And, and Lucinda, since you're a, a, a playwright, uh, is there a way that uh, we could get your information? We would, we would, I, I, we'd love to sit down and talk with you about, you know, potentially we're preparing a facility, you know, uh, the, the warehouse right across the way. We're doing some things to it uh, to showcase our local yeah. local uh, talent and giftedness. So I would certainly uh, like to get your information and potentially talk about um, at some point showcasing one of your uh, you know one of your stage plays. Not a problem. I've already All talked right. to William Sanders because he, this is who is helping y'all bring the play here. He's a very right. good friend of mine. Okay, perfect. Yeah, he, he's one of our partners. Company. So, yes, that's correct. So, he knows all my information, plus Cheryl has all my information as well. Perfect, right. perfect, perfect. Thank well, we'll you so much. Thank you for today. calling thank, in. Thank you for calling in, Lucinda. Have, have a great day. Have a great day. Bye-bye. You, you too. too. Now, that's exciting. Yes, it is. As we have people in our community paying attention and, and they're seeing what we're doing and, and want to chime in and, and, and help us in trying to garner the su support in the community. When you were on the radio station, I believe it was Saturday, and I was um, I was doing a post and, and didn't hit the send button, but I remembered um, today. And, and I thought about just how real the situation that happened in Oklahoma was. But as I heard Lavorno talk about the black soldiers, the Union soldiers, and how all of that happened, and when you think back to, to World War I during that period and, and coming all the way up into, into World War II, well, well, again, Juneteenth weekend, we're celebrating it, but Juneteenth started with the black Union soldiers. That's right. Yeah. Wow. That's right. Yeah. So you, you see how it's all kind of coming together as we talk about June, we talk about what happened in in. 1921, June 1st, the last part of the burning of a whole community, the Greenwood community. And you're right, it was downplayed. You were talking about how the story had never been told because the story was squashed. Right. right. Oh, look at you. You got something else you want to say. But when we think about the Union soldiers, they're the reason we are celebrating Juneteenth now. We're celebrating our freedom and on that note, we're going to free ourselves to pay yeah. some bills, and we're going to come back after the commercial break. Thank you so much, Facebook family, for, for tuning in to Let's Talk Business with SJC. Our co-host here today, Derek Blue, and our guest, Mr. Lavarno Williams, will start the show back with you. Thank you. Thank you.
chick or Ricky, he coming. He taking kids in a floor to grab a pen of sun down. 1-844-361-RICK. I didn't come from a very rich family, and so paying for college would have been very tough. I don't know if I would have been able to go to the college that I went to, and then I don't know if I would have gotten into the career that I am in. So I think Bright Futures has done a lot to shape my life. I uh, got a job as a structural engineer, and I design residential buildings, commercial buildings all over the United States. Because of Bright Futures, I was able to go to college you know, so many kids just don't even ever get that opportunity. And to be able to do it and not have any debt when I graduated is amazing. And it was all thanks to Bright Futures. Florida has created more than one million jobs in only five years. And a great education connects our students to these exciting opportunities. That's why the Florida Lottery has funded Bright Futures scholarships to help over 725,000 students attend college. Because every play is for education. The Florida Lottery. Just imagine. We are back. Thank you so much for tuning in to Let's Talk Business with SJC. This is the show where we will be all up in your business. It's the first Wednesday of the month, and it's all about the blue report. But today's report is all black. The black print. So we left at the commercial break talking about the black union soldiers, and we were talking about the their, their presence in prevalence in 1921. But then if you go back and you look to see when we started celebrating um, Juneteenth, while that was important, it was the when the frees, the rest of the, the slaves were, were freed. And that's very, very important. And he, he had a thought. And I hope you kept that thought. So we're going to turn the mic over to Laverna Williams, and he'll share a little more about the experience. Yeah, sure. Um and, and we are not dwelling on the tragedy that happened in 1921, May 30th, but we are actually celebrating. But one of the things that made Greenwood area, this district, different from any other of the riots, there were many riots, race riots, going on during that time and a lot of lynching. But these soldiers that was in Greenwood, they were unique. These guys, they, they knew one day it was coming and the day oh. came. These guys, they they uh, am, uh, got their weapons, they band together, and they say, we are not running, we're going to stand our right. grounds, and we're going to defend our community that we work so hard to do. And like I said earlier, Cheryl, that the fact that the newspaper actually ignited everything, there's a little guy named um, Rick uh, Rowland, he was a little shoe shine guy. He wanted to yeah. use the restroom on right. in the Drexel building on the top floor. Uh -huh. He was given mm -hmm. permission on the way in. There was two flick conflict the story, but when he got in there, uh, Sharon Paler, little white girl, yes, she yes. screamed. He runs out, and everything happens. Now, when this guy goes to get arrested, the blacks they came together, Indeed. band together. They went to the jail to help protect the jail. One of the uh, white uh, counterparts came out, asked the black guy, um, what you think you're going to do with that weapon? And they talk, they started tussling. Right. The gun went off, and like they say, all hell broke loose. Wow. It did. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> Boy, he set the stage for the stage play. <laughs> yes, sir. That, that was a great depiction of, of what wow. happens. And, and the sad part about it was it was just that. He spooked the lady. She screamed, mm. and then the counterparts decided mm. to tell the story their way. As a matter of fact, Laverno, by the end of the day, the local newspaper ran a story letting them know that this young man, Mr. Rowland, sexually harassed wow. Miss Page. That was a lot before they got any facts whatsoever. 
Yes. Uh, and that's what spawned the, the beginning of that riot. But you're right. What happened when, when the blacks came with their weapons to protect a young man while he was in prison, then you had the whites that came 10 times the number that they had yes, with the African Americans. It was like bringing a gun to a knife fight. Wow. And isn't, isn't it amazing how the media hasn't changed? Not the the media, the media still, the media still twists story, and always has a slant that's in opposition to, oftentimes to 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 people of color. And Dr. Williams said something that was key, and I think we need to just make sure we let this be known for all of our viewers. Black Wall Street, the Black Wall Street experience, movement, and conversation is not anti every other race. Right. It, a- it just celebrates the resilience of uh, black folks and, and how, how uh, we tell history. Because a lot of this is just not to have a play to say, hey, we just had this play. But we, we want to be able to provide history and education. Because if you don't know uh, where you've been, it's very, very difficult to know as a people where you're going. You are absolutely right. And when we talk about celebration, nobody can throw a party like we can party but it's real you still have to tell the story for our children to know from from where our ancestors came from what happened when you come here on 5508 and we want people to feel that experience well that's why you need to see the play that's right if you catch the play on friday night that's amazing it's it's friday night we said a, a few minutes earlier cocktails yes dinner and the stage play, the live stage play. Now, Mr. Blue, because he's giving us the blueprint, we're going to have to go spend some greenbacks. And that's okay because that's what we want you to do. We want you to come like we are coming to an Academy Awards Absolutely. show. Absolutely. Come dressed in your best. Yes. But more importantly, come to hear the story as it marinates in our minds, now we've got something to celebrate. Absolutely. How do we celebrate? We celebrate the Black Wall Street experience by coming on this campus of 5508 and supporting our Black-owned businesses. Absolutely. And we want the whole entire community all to come and support us. All to come and be a part of what happened. So you will have the story told the right way. But we want you to come and support the business. All our money is green. That's right. So whether you are white, black, red, blue, or green, come on. Absolutely. In other words, we're just trying to say colors for all to come and support this event. And yeah. and we're going to turn this mic over to Laverno and, and let him add a little something to it as well. Yes, come on out and support this. One of the things that we definitely want you to take away from this particular play, back in 1921, this community was such a striving community that the dollar went not one year, two years, three years, but up to five years before it went out of that community. I didn't say five can, months. Can we get a I drum roll, DJ CEO? Days. Five years, years the dollars five. circulated in, in the, the co- African-American wow. community. Five years. And that is unheard of. So let's start spending money in our community. Let's support our players, support our community, support whatever we have to help edify our community. That's right. All right. Absolutely. Well, let's run down. Let's run down exactly how that can happen. So there are five different ways that you will be able to come here to 5508. Edify our community. He was preaching. We heard him say, edify our community. It was worth repeating. It was worth us hearing it again. So how do we do this? How do we say thank you to those persons that lost their lives? How do we say thank you to the individuals who had a story that was lost? Right. I'm reminded of John Singleton 
And if you remember the story, Rosewood, yes. I think oh, about yes, 1997-ish, yes. DJ CEO, he brought the 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 he brought it to the screen. Yes, yes he might did. be on to something here. But you know why he did it? Because the story wasn't told. Right. People couldn't remember what was going on. And that's what we're trying to say today. Absolutely. We need our history. In order for us to have a Absolutely. legacy here, we need to be able to tell the story. Yes. So first and foremost, get prepared. Friday, June 14th. Right. 5508-630, our social hour. Social mixer and dinner. Be there at 6 o'clock. Don't, don't be you on heard CP him. time. Get your good Ooh. parking. Get you a parking spot in our two acres. Get the half of the garage. Get half of the parking yes. lot. Get, get there early. <laughs> get there early so you can catch the parking Ladies with paid. your heels. <laughs> yeah. So cocktails, dinner, show. And I believe they'll be able to mingle with the actors after the show, correct? Abs- absolutely. Look, this is a date night for date couples. Date night. Or you can just come on out. Spend $120. You would spend that. Listen, you're going to be able to watch quality entertainment. Have some a, good food. a three. Yes, yeah, so I'm talking about some <laughs> excellent food. We've we've handpicked the caterer. Hundred and twenty dollars yes. a couple. Sixty dollars, sixty five if you come by yourself. Come at six o'clock. Get on the step and repeat. Take some pictures. Have some fun. Get to meet the cast. Yes. Meet the team. Hundred and twenty dollars. Come out Friday. That's the premiere night of the play. Oh, but before before we go any further, this is how you get to go online. We're going to share our, our live posts, and they will yes. be shared all over. So we're asking you, those of you who are listening in, and those of you that will see the show live in a few hours, share, share, share the post. Yes, yes. Share yes, the post. Yes. We have a large facility we do not have to worry about limited seating. So we want you to come out. And I was I was telling you right at the break, and we're going to um, turn back over to Laverna Williams in just a minute. I was telling you about all about the first black-owned beauty supply store that opened in Nashville, Tennessee. Well, well here's what made it so important. The black women lined up for hours waiting for the grand opening. Wow. When it wow. comes to wow. our hair, spend that money. we spend the money. We spend y'all money. Sure do. Listen, one day, in one day, Nashville, unheard of, Tennessee, one day sells $50,000. Wow. wow. $50,000. So what we're saying, yes, drum That's roll, amazing. please. Yes. So what we're saying, and it's you and a plus one, however you make that couple. If you go and you purchase your tickets now, www. People don't really say www anymore. But I was helping a couple get their tickets. So you had to show www. I had to go. W. <laughs> w. They say, okay. No, what about the www? I said, okay, www.thap, T-H-A-P. And actually, if you just do thap.org, when you... Reach the website, the very first thing there is a banner yes. about the Black Wall Street experience. It's very user-friendly. You decide to click on the ticket if you want to do date night, and we encourage you to do date night. But do it now so that you can save some of your green bucks. Absolutely. A couple, 120 is the discount. Individuals, $65. And you know what? I had a colleague. Actually, she's she's a friend. That group. When she first heard about the play, she called in, out of state, mind you. They are flying in to see this play. They were the first to purchase two tickets, call back, purchase two more tickets. They were the very first. Shout out to Donye. Her mother, Gretchen Jones Hunter, lost her her, her battle with, with cancer. And speaking of the founder, Mr. Hammond worked with her at Jim Walters Corporation. Mm. Mr. Hammond spoke at, at her funeral, and Donye felt it so important to come here and support Mr. Hammond's legacy that she is flying in for this particular play. So we were talking about that. That's Friday night. Then we have 
Saturday morning. Oh, my goodness. The morning after. The morning, the morning after. after. The, the, the panelists, and, and since you have it right there, we're, we're going to let Blue give us the black print of who's going to be on the breakfast panel. Go. First of all, Dirk, uh, I'll make sure that we get you two tickets. We definitely <laughs> want you to be in attendance. I'm just selling real quick okay. on my social media. We're going to make sure you get two tickets. Oh, yeah, we see y'all. Go to that website. Go to the website, too, thapgroup.org. You'll see the banner there. But Saturday uh, morning, Dr. Cuso is going to be power packed. We have ex, uh, eight small business experts, real estate experts, who will be uh, giving advice. They'll be telling their story. And I'm not talking about just anybody, but these are people who have uh, pedigrees. These are people who have been there and done that, and they're willing to, to give wisdom. We have prepared. We have killed the fatted calf. Uh, we have a, a a big breakfast for you. We gonna have some bacon. We gonna have some. Support. For for those who who uh who who eat bacon and those who who uh just like to kind of get that heavy southern food in you. Look, we getting ready to feed you with food and information. Uh, Celeste Roberts, Ian Davis, Georgie Franks, Gypsy Gallardo, Javante Justice, Don Bethel, Pierce Bronson. Uh, there are other people uh, that are coming there. I mean, look, we Christopher are... Christopher Kalu, I believe. Christopher Kalu. Yes. I'm talking about some people who are doing some moving and some shaking uh, in the community. Look, you want to make sure you're there for Saturday morning from 9 a.m. to 11, uh, $12 uh, per ticket. If right. you bring a group of eight, and I, I encourage you to hurry up and get your tickets. If you bring a group of eight, it's $95 just for the table. We have a whole weekend set up for you so hurry up and go to thapgroup.org like quickly and get your tickets uh you'll probably be seeing the commercials on spectrum social right. media i mean it's 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 crazy and we want to make sure that you can get there but well, we're going to turn the microphone over to uh laverno and 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 let him share some additional information go ahead sir again exciting 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 we sir. have a, a whole weekend but the board of directors, uh, we are excited, and we are calling this the year of expansion and st uh, stability. Okay. Uh, we have our uh, expansion program, our 340B. We call it our pharmacy program. And one of the new initiatives we have right now is called the stigma reduction. And one of the things that it uh, is aimed to do, there are people that actually have AIDS or feel a little... Um, alienated, mm -hmm. do not feel a part of where well, we like to reduce that feeling. Yes. And so this this is going on. This stigma is going is going to be attacked so that they right. will feel a part of. We're trying to cover 18 different zip codes. So this is yes, going to be huge. And That's also, <laughs> again, yeah. um, we have a new training center, awesome. uh, home performance for the contractors. Absolutely. And actually, we were awarded this of a Mr. Blue, of a Dr. Blue. Um, <laughs> actually, he was the director of our weatherization program, and he did it so well that Tallahassee actually chose FAP to train the whole state how yes. they would like weatherization to be done in Woo! Florida. So again, that there's a lot of exciting things going here. I like to thank you again for having me on the show, Dr. Crusoe and Dr. Blue, and I look forward to doctors. speaking again to the community. And I will continue to work hard to bring, uh, put, make this community a lighthouse on That's a right. hill. Lighthouse. That's right. Well, you're going to stay with us to the end of the show, right? I am. Oh, okay, okay. So we'll you'll get to hear from him um, shortly. But we're talking about money, and we're talking about circulating it in the community. And for those businesses who are circulating their dollars with In Touch News Radio, it's time for us to pay some bills. We'll be back after the – oh, I thought you were going for commercial. I, I, I would ask a question to these two gentlemen. Oh, okay, oh, okay. I, I, well, you we're know, still live. Would you guys discuss and talk about the upgrades that are going on here, you know, with the, with the uh, garage? Uh, with, I mean, with the uh, uh, the, the parking, uh, the parking, mm -hmm. and and with the ten thousand square foot, what what can you all discuss that, please? Sure, <laughs> look, sure, sure can. One one thing uh, that that that's exciting, you know, that's the background that I come from. Uh, 
you know, uh, home performance, uh, construction, and and things of that nature. And you know, we we made a uh, we set some goals at the beginning of this year to progressively continue to improve the the campus. Uh, if, if you all recall, uh, the story broke right here on In Touch <laughs> News uh, that the uh, that we had paved about a quarter of our yes. lot. <laughs> we were for those, there. For those who don't know, we own about uh, five total acres. That's right. And uh, only about half of it is a hard surface. Uh, and uh, I got tired of getting death threats from <laughs> these ladies who were breaking their heels uh, and all of that. So... Uh, the board and I, we worked together. Dr. Williams and I, we put our heads together, and we found a way to uh, save up some pennies and pave a quarter of the lot. We, we've been able to do that, and I think uh, that went a long way. Uh, we're also in the process, for those in the community who use our facility, if you've been noticing, there's a 10,000-square-foot warehouse yes. uh, that's pretty much been vacant and collecting dust. Well, we decided that we were going to knock some dust off of it. We may not be able to do everything that we want to do. However, we can make that facility into something that could be usable. That could be, it won't be pretty, but it'll be cute. Oh, we make it pretty. Yeah, and, and we, yeah, we, we, we going to. Could be or huh? is. Oh, it <laughs> is going to be. It is going to be. Right now, we're uh, work, we have pipe and drape going up. We're painting the ceiling, brand new lights. Uh, you're going to be able to step inside of that thing and not really know where you are. <laughs> you know, you're going to step into a time warp once you step in there. And it's it's more upgrades coming. I mean, we're we're, we're working on uh, additional pavers. Uh, uh, we're uh, we installing signs all over the place uh, and, and progressively. And, and one of the, the, the steps that I talked about when I gave those steps uh, a couple uh, shows ago, it was set your own pace. We have to understand how to how to move at a at a consistent pace. We we're not on anybody else's clock. We have to to work at a pace that makes sense uh, for us and for the organization. So we're we're right on right on track. Well, I guess you answered that question quite nicely. Quite nice. As I as I listen to you talk about steps, I'm reminded of a few steps we're getting ready to take. When you exit the parking lot, particularly the paved section, and you step into our breezeway, yes. those stones will begin to tell a story. Yes. As you enter further into the breezeway, you will find yourself on James Hammond Haven. Yes. And for our founder and for those that, that loved him and, and appreciated him, what you may not know, the FAP group built over 100 homes in the East Tampa area. Yes. The FAP group, all of those that lived in Oakhurst, one or two yes. apartments brought to you by the FAP group. Absolutely. We're going to make an appeal to you to come out here. This is how you can circulate your dollars. We were talking about there are five things that you can do. You can come out here and purchase a block yes, or a brick on James Hammond Haven. But you don't have to stop there because there were other founding members. Yes. You can go to Robert Cole's court. Absolutely. We're reaching out. if you, if you you And you know what he's done to the city of Tampa. First African-American to open a barbershop at the Tampa airport. Yes. Let's come out and purchase a brick on his row. Yes. Maybe you, you're you like Laverno and you want to be present on all of the rows. Well, you've got James Hammond Haven. Yes. You can purchase a brick. Yes, you or can. Or you can purchase a block. Yes. You have Robert Cole Court. Again, the blocks are 250 the bricks are 100 And we're making this appeal for our community to come out here and put your signage on this property, Leave a on this campus, step on it, but step with your name. That's right. More. Come on down a little further. You'll see a sign that's Robert Scott Station. Yes. Robert Scott Station. Robert Scott, James Hammond, one more, Monroe Mack yes. have all made their heavenly transitions. But you can come down to Max Maynard. Yes. Yes. 
We're trying to tell the history so when our youth come here and they look down, they step on the pavers, and they say, wow, that's my grandfather, my great-grandfather. Mm-hmm. Oh, I know that individual. Oh, we've got the ML King Parade Foundation right here. They're collaborators right here. here. They are. They're members. Robert Scott Jr., mm-hmm. well, his father was one right. of the founding members. Absolutely. And then there's Lewis Jones. And then there's Earl Leonard. But you'll be able to come here and purchase a block for two fifty, two fifty, a brick for one hundred dollars. <laughs> but here's the real challenge: What if we each just came here and, and just started off with twenty five hundred dollars? That's it. Yeah, just put it out there. That's it. You don't have it. Call somebody like DJ CEO and borrow it. That's right. We'll get it. <laughs> you know, Give it or get it. <laughs> I'm calling Lazy Days. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lazy Days. I need twenty five hundred dollars. <laughs> Twenty-five thousand. Oh, you heard it! You heard it! I'm gonna turn my phone around. For that lazy was day. <laughs> oh, for lazy days. Two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Okay, y'all, y'all gonna pay for some college education. But but really, that's what it's all about. This is how we become the investors in order to secure this property for our next generation. Absolutely. We can tell the young people that's coming here on this campus for the matinee. We want you to be able to come here. But but I've got to say, that 10,000-square-foot garage, we've converted that garage. We've dusted Absolutely. it off before. Absolutely. We've had quite a quite a few events yes, here. Yes, we have. And, the, and on the courtyard. Yes. Tell Our them about it, DJ wedding. CEO. It's been nice. It's Our Sweetheart's Dinner. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. National Black Business Month. Yes. Tampa Bay Black Business. Yes. BBIC. Yes. Some weddings and receptions. So, oh, yeah, we did have that country barn wedding one day, too. We did. Oh, that was nice, right in the garage. Yeah. I we own sorry. this. <laughs> this is ours. Absolutely. So we're saying come out. We yes. were telling you about Saturday, but let me bring you up to Saturday afternoon. Come the on, Small God. Business Expo. Yes. Our goal is when you walk into that garage, you see streets and avenues of businesses. We have more space for you. Yes. At the low cost of five five. That's $55. That's double nickel. $55, you can come and showcase your business's products and or services. Yes. We have culinary arts coming here. Yes. We have arts. We have health and wellness. Food trucks. Food trucks. So you will be. You can be inside. You can be outside. You can enjoy if the weather is nice enough. Maybe we'll throw in a couple of tents so you can go okay. outside and eat some BBQ. Mm-hmm. But if you're inside and you want some decadent desserts, we're here. So for those that have the business, we need you to go to the fapgroup.org yes. website because it's discounted today, tomorrow, but that discount ends on Friday. Right. Hurry, please. That means secure your ticket, secure your vending space, come prepare to shop with the black business owners, come prepare to eat with us. Absolutely. And then enjoy the play. Yes, and do this. Uh, Last week, uh, last Saturday, well, this past Saturday, I was on the Cole with the James Cole Mm -hmm. show. Cole and the Cure. Cole and the Cure. And he said something that I want to reiterate. Don't, on the 16th, be the person that heard about how good it was. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah, don't 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 be the person that hit, oh, you know, I heard it was good. No, be there and experience. That's why we call it the Black Wall Street experience. We want you to be there so you can experience everything. You can experience the campus, the small businesses. Uh buy you a suit here. Go and uh I mean connect with one of these oh, construction outfit. companies. Get you a whole outfit. So, I mean, it's women's apparel, African apparel. Yes. I mean, uh, come out, come just come out here and experience and and spend your money right here at, at Wakanda. Mm-hmm. And just imagine as we're spinning around for our our thoughts from Mr. Lavarna Williams, who I believe is going to have to leave us. But remember what he said when he told the story of Black Wall Street. The money circulated for five, five years. years. Jesus, have mercy. And yes. When you are thinking about coming out this weekend, reminisce. You remember the day when your favorite group was going, going to be in concert? Your mind was on it all day. You went and made sure you picked out the right attire. You cleaned your car. 
and you showed up. And that is what we're asking you to do. Show up. Show up. Bring someone. Uh, bring someone so that they can share it as well. Um, this is actually unique to our area. We were chosen to host this play. We are proud and we are honored. And we are not taking it light. Right. We are going all out. Yes. And that 10,000 square foot building will be waiting with anticipation yes. to be filled to the rim. <laughs> Absolutely. And um, like we said, she is putting on her cute little dress now. <laughs> she will we be dressing her pretty. Up. We're going to put some makeup on her. So please <laughs> come out and enjoy. Some high heels. Yes, yeah. sir. Y'all know they're talking about that 10,000 square foot garage. That's right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, um, Laverno, for joining us. We appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule, but we know being the visionary for the THAP group, you wanted people to, to hear what that means to you yes. and, and how you want that conveyed to this, our community, because it is our yes. community. Yes. So we again we say we say thank you. We want to come back and, 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 and explain more about the Small Business Expo. We are still looking for vendors. But here's what this organization decided to do for the expo. Free, 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 F-R-E-E, -E, to the community. Absolutely. Come the parents, on. if you're coming to be a part of the matinee, come a little earlier so that your youth can experience the shops of 5508 and as well the businesses that we have invited here right. to be part of the Small Business Expo. That's going to be so important. We are going to have so many different businesses. Now, that starts at 11. It will go on until 2. And we're trying to set it up to where even our vendors will be able right. to experience that's the play right. as well. Absolutely. We'll just have to be quiet. <laughs> yeah. So that's the fourth part. The fifth part is the encore stage play. Yes. For those that were not able to, you know what, you can come multiple times. So that you can bring right. other people before we get to the encore thank you so much before we get to the encore here's what we need you to do if you are in a position and you work with a group of of youth this is an appeal to pastors with yes. youth ministries we're asking you to please bring to the matinee your youth we, we want you to come in and bring your youth so that when you go back you can have time for them to talk about what that meant. Absolutely. And, and, and not only is it a teachable moment, but it's a continuation of learning. And see how they feel. We, we've got to be able to talk to them after it's over. And, and that's why we would love for them to stay around, visit some of the, the, the vendors that will be here, sit out on the patio and say, what did that mean to you? What was your takeaway from it? Or did you even know about it? Awesome. Blue said, have the conversation. Mm -hmm. So make it a weekend, but don't plan to, to come. Come for the whole day. Absolutely. You can start off with the, the breakfast. Stay on for the Small Business Expo. Let the youth enjoy the matinee. And then if you want to, and then have the conversation with them. Grab something to eat. Sit down, as I stated before, and talk about it. If you are just an individual and you have the wherewithal, support a group of youth. Call us and let us know. We have youth waiting. If you yes. can help sponsor 50 youth, please call us and say, I'll sponsor the youth for you. And then we can reach out to the churches and say, load them up on your vans. We have found a sponsor for you. Absolutely. So we're making the appeal. The appeal. We're asking you to share this video with your family, with your colleagues, with your coworkers, with your fraternities, um, with all of the organizations, civic or social, that you may be participating in. Share, share, share. For the first time, in order to be able to bring this play here, we want it to look like the support came together Absolutely. and spent some money here. Absolutely. Absolutely. And it's more than just us having a play so we can say that we've had a play, but we're bringing history. I mean, we're dusting some stuff off, and we want to be able to promote this Black Wall Street history as well as this experience because it's, it, what, it, what it does, it shows us where we could go back to. 
it gives us, it shows us our potential. When people come together, when a people come together, it's nothing that they can't do. And we want to be able to promote this thing. You have five opportunities, like Dr. Cusso said, to come out and support. It's not just simply about a play, but this is about an experience. We want you to be able to come out here and look at these businesses that are out here at 5508. This is Tampa's Black Wall Street. It is. It, it really is. What, I, you know. What are those five opportunities? The five is the first on Friday, you can come at 6 a.m., Stay till about 10 o'clock after the play is over. There's a mixer at 6. Uh, the Black Wall Street play starts at 8 o'clock. Then on Saturday, uh, we have the Entrepreneurial and Real Estate Panel. That's a breakfast a from breakfast? 9 a.m. till 11. We're going to feed you with knowledge and with a, a, <laughs> a, a breakfast. And then from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. is our uh, Small Business Expo. We're looking for vendors, sponsors. Come out, Absolutely. represent. $55. Look, you will spend that in two days at McDonald's. <laughs> as much as much as, as 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 we like to eat. You spend that in two days, but come out and and become a vendor. Also, if you're not a vendor, it's free to the general public just to come right. out. Be a patron. I mean, shop patron, <laughs> spend some money. I mean, uh Dr. Cousseau, when she does it, you know, she does it big. We have some of everybody. We have variety. We have Absolutely. food trucks. Bring your family out. Uh, it'll be inside. It'll be cool. Uh, there'll be some music playing. We just wanted to make an experience. And then the next one is at 2 p.m. We talked about it. That's the matinee for it, for young folks, for for youth to come out. Uh, that's like $10 in advance, 15 hey. at the door. Load up a van. And you know what we'll do, Dr. Cuso? Okay. If you're a chaperone, you heard it here. If you're a chaperone you can get in for free. Wow. You're bringing them. You can you can get in for free if you're a chaperone. Now we don't need five and six chaperones for the group. <laughs> I'm talking one or two folks, but you can get in free. And then uh, the last or the fifth one is at 7 p.m. That is encore. the encore to the Black Wall Street play. That is twenty dollars in advance, twenty five dollars at the door. Look, you don't you really really don't want to miss it. Go to thapgroup.org. Uh, you can call eight one three. 626-4926, dial number eight. It'll go directly to Dr. Cousseau. Oh, it will. I just had him pointed yeah. it right to you. Uh, so we, we'll we'll take your, your orders. We'll, we'll coordinate it. Look, we're preparing this place for you. We want Absolutely. you to be there. Uh, you know, we're doing the best we can to make the place comfortable. We just want you to get your hind parts to 5508. <laughs> Who's producing the play? Now... There is a lady by the name of Hallie. Yes. Uh, she this this group is out of I believe it's West Palm mm -hmm. Beach, and the 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 play was actually birthed in a church, and the demand got so big yes. for this thing to where they had to take it on the road, uh, and I don't want to mess up her last, her last name, name. <laughs> uh, but it's Hallie. We're just gonna call her Hallie. <laughs> You'll get a chance to meet her uh, during the play. Mm -hmm. But they've been they've been touring this play and they're right. bringing it here and I'm sure after it stops here, uh, this is going to be the springboard to send it uh, across the country prayerfully. Prayerfully is right, and and in order for us to bring this caliber of of a play here because it's not at the church anymore, and I remember her saying that she felt so bad when they had to turn people away. But we're going to take a break and come back out. Uh, we're taking a break and come back after this commercial and say hello to our Facebook family that's been tuning in. But thank you for tuning in to Let's Talk Business with SJC. My co-host, Derek Blue, will be back in a minute. Sounds of Soul. Playing your favorite R&B in Touch Radio. 
Hi, this is Dale Day. Join me every Monday at 7 p.m. for Jazz at Miss Connie's House, bringing you the smoothest jazz and the coolest guests right here on In Touch Radio. Thank you so much. We are back. Let's talk business with SJC. And you know we're here giving you the blueprint, which today is in black. And we have negotiated a couple of more minutes from our production manager in order to wrap up the show. We just got so excited about talking about the experience, but wanting to make sure that we're putting information out there to the masses and expressing the importance of having our community come out and show out. And so final thoughts, Mr. Blue? Well, again, first of all, this is the Black Wall Street experience. And I just want to make it clear that uh, black love doesn't mean white hate. It doesn't mean hate to any other race. But what it means is that as a people, we have to learn how to love ourselves, how to uh, support ourselves, and to... uh, to, to, to do our best to, to level the playing field because there was a time and we see this in this experience to where to, to, to hear that the black dollar circulated for five was that five months oh no not I mean five, I'm sorry five five years yeah, five years 2019. five years for the, for the dollar to, for it to circulate for mm. five years that's never 365 left. times, times five. five so what that basically means that it never really left that's powerful yeah and our challenge i believe in this generation is to see what we can do as a people we may not be able to group all in one space like five five or eight but we're spread out through the cities we're spread out through regions how how do we do that? How do we support one another instead of tearing each other down? I how do we do it? We just come out and support. I was listening to a World War World War II veteran that was a part of D-Day. And he talked about he's 98 years old today, and he talked about that experience. He was a medic, broke his back, but still continued to help. The individuals so they reached out to him and they wanted him to write a book and have the book be about him as the hero and he said i can't be the hero the book needs to be about them they were the heroes all of those that lost their lives so i'm sitting here looking at these two gentlemen and i'm thinking about those guys that sat around a table the james hammond the robert cole the robert scott the monroe mack the lewis jones They were the original founders, and then they added um, Earl Leonard. But they talked about what can we do in this community so that we can create our own Black Wall Street. Even though they purchased this property some 20-plus years ago, but now it's what they saw. It's what they envisioned. So how do we say thank you to those heroes? How do we say thank you to those founders? We come out. Kids, ask your parents for $55. You can come out here, cover your ticket, cover your food, and shop. Right. But ask them to bring 500. (laughs) But here's the thing. Come out here, support your family, support the legacy that the THAP group created so many years ago. Actually, over 30 years ago. We want to say thank you for tuning in to SJC. Let's talk business. Thank you to my co-host, Derek Blue. The music is playing in our ears. We'll see you. For the Black Wall Street Experience, June 14th and 15th. Signing off.